Sup guys, Youth Pastor Alex here, and I have a question for you. What was one of the most absurd games you've ever played? Was it Katamari? Maybe Duke Nukem Forever? Maybe even that weird game called Seaman? But you know what? I have the most absurd game right here in my hands, and it's... hold on. It's Carmageddon. Have you ever been driving around at the speed of sound with your buddy pals? and some jaywalking piece of trash is just taking way too long to cross the stupid street. And then you look over to the guys and you're like, just run them over for bonus points. Oh, you haven't? Well, well, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Just kidding, I bamboozled you. The people that actually have made that joke developed Carmageddon. Well, I didn't get to really play the original when it first came out because I was a literal infant back then. I did manage to play it for the first time in 2012 when it came out on iOS for mobile. And that was when I couldn't play AIM games. Hi, mom and dad. So the reason this game is getting a church box is because, um, have you seen it? This game gives GTA a run for its money. Grand Theft Auto actually punishes you for killing people, while Carmageddon literally gives you bonus points. No, for a punishment, that dinky little police car does not count. The cash you get from all the lives you've taken may be able to repair your car, but it can't wash the blood and sins off it, Philip. Let's just, just jump, jump into, into it. it. Part one, the story. There isn't one. Part two, the gameplay. So racing wise, it's pretty much your usual affair if you don't play Wii Bowling in your car. And actually, fun fact, there's actually three ways to win a race. The first way is the normal way, which is get first place. The second one is my favorite, which is destroying all your opponent's vehicles, which is totally not a sin if you pretend like no one's in the car. It's like movies. If you don't see them die on screen, they're not dead. And the third and most controversial way, and what the game is known for, is literally killing every single pedestrian and animal on the stage. But it's okay because if everyone one's dead. No one gets PTSD. Son, I can't believe you're playing games like this. Your mother and I are gonna need to have a chat with you about your violence collection. So normally, I would condemn this game right out, but actually there's a censored version in Germany that my friend Carl Lucas pointed out. Check out his channel. You kill robots and zombies instead of people. As to my chat, those aren't people. But then Stainless Games released a secret patch that re-enabled all the regular content. Those sneaky boys. So fun fact, a newspaper also sinned trying to get this sinful game off store shelves. They said that the Pope himself wanted Carmageddon banned. But actually turns out it was a lie and it was some guy from Parliament named Greg Pope. So who are you? The real Pope thinks that the game is sick though. Like, it's his favorite game. Don't quote me on that, though. Now for the miscellaneous stuff. For example, the humor, which is very immature, ranges somewhere between 69 and 420. <laughs> it's also got track names such as Mame Street, Fridge Racer, Avenue of Atrocities, Missed Me, A Racing in Arizona, a Mangled at the Mall, Mine's a Large One, Beef Curtains, I know what it means. And it's also got funny names for things such as like, and I have to say this carefully, cunning stunts. And also silly power-up names such as Dismemberfest and Drugs. So what does the Bible actually say about Carmageddon? Well, I've been I've been looking through it and there's absolutely no mention of Carmageddon in the Bible. That means it's okay. <laughs> Incredible. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just like Grand Theft Auto, it's very violent. There's lots of murder, all that stuff. Um, so the Bible says don't do that. Even if you're cool with the murders and stuff, uh, the Bible also says to obey your government. And last time I checked, I mean, I'm not a lawyer or anything. Pretty sure that's illegal. But besides that and its overall like inappropriateness and grotesqueness, what you see is what you get, which is hell before you die. Thank you guys so much for watching another very scholarly episode of Church Box. And if you guys like it, go over here to see more. Go over here to see more. And just for anyone who doesn't know, these are all meant to be humorous. I'm a Christian who games, who enjoys the games that I do Church Boxes on. This is just to make people be more conscious about what they play, because I need to do so as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and stay hashtag blessed.